Okay, I found something stupid in my school newspaper again. Um, I'll post the article, the online version, but I got the paper with me right here. Uh, a drive towards sustainability. Three dots vehicles this semester have truck truck beds full of plants. Dots is like the, uh, the people who run the bus on the campus. So they put the plants in the truck beds. Um, it's kind of like a marketing scam, trying to get people on the whole green bandwagon. And uh, the funny thing about it is, let me find it where, where it is here in the article. They admit, although the plants do not decrease greenhouse gas emissions, officials said they hope they'll serve as an educational tool to teach the campus about the benefits of sustainability and DOTS appreciation of it. Again, DOTS is the Department of Transportation Services. They run the buses. So even though they've already got most of the buses painted up with uh, you know, green stuff like recycling things and decreasing CO2, uh, CO2 emissions, which is fine. There's no problem with that. It just they're, they're in such a drive that they'll literally do anything to market the whole sustainable green uh, agenda. And they even admit that this is going to um, this marketing campaign will cause more carbon emissions by them taking the time to maintain all these plants and having to hire people to do that. And so even though it's going to be more carbon emissions, they're still saying that it'll be good. Um, the, the university, in addition to the transportation department, they keep proposing things like this. Uh, it's more of like a scenery thing. I think it's a way of them to try and uh, pass along they want to get good scenery on the campus to make people feel better because you know that'll drive in more students if it looks pretty but they're saying they're doing it as part of the uh, anti-global warming anti-climate change um, sustainability message I think it's it's really just a trick to kind of hide it and let them get a two-in-one you know they get points with the environmentalists and then they get points with people who like to um, to have good scenery on campus uh, I read a thing the other day, they're proposing building a, um, it's kind of like what they're doing with the, in the truck beds with the plants. They want to put a, you know, like a uh, turf, like if you've ever seen like a tennis court on top of a building, they want to put some turf on top of a parking lot. How does that make any economic sense? From a carbon or from any standpoint, you have to pay people to go up there and work on that, maintain the grass. You know, every time you run a lawnmower or whatever it's that's carbon in the air they run on um, on gasoline so just another little interesting article how everyone is worried about being green which there's no problem with reducing your energy usage or your carbon footprint if you want to do that but they've gotten to the point that they're so psycho that it's all about the image and the uh, you know the feeling good part about it that it doesn't actually matter if you're increasing emissions it's about making you feel good instead of you know introducing real policies that involve an actual trade-off something that's hard maybe an energy um, you know bill increase like a, a fee for green energy now they'll do that too but instead of doing more of that they just want to have all these marketing scams and to make people feel good uh, you can read the article I'm sure something else will come up in the future about this and I'll have to do a video on it again. I wouldn't be surprised if they said they were going to outfit all of their all of their buses with um with these plants. Uh and that's it.